new, 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 new. Oh, Oakley Doakley, what is up, people? I'm Running Guy here, bringing you another episode of Pixelmon Catching Mew. If you guessed the song correctly, you know the drill by now. You get a free shout out. Well done, sir, to you. Have a cake or have a muffin. Don't have a cookie. I bet you're sick of those cookies already. So today um, is just going to be preparation for fossils because I've got some tips and tricks on how to get fossils now. I think I've been searching in the wrong places. I've been searching for gravel between 20 and 50. But it's like an abra. Let's scare it off. Scare it off. Oh, I'm coming close. I'm coming close. I got... Oh, it's on top of my... Oh, that's quite cool, actually. I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, so apparently I've been searching in the wrong place. Uh, man apparently it's meant to be under ocean biomes so that you can get the fossils, so I've been completely wasting my time. But we won't dwell on that because I'm just going to punch a hole in this wall. Ah! Oh, I feel a lot better now. But anyway, today, as I said, is going to be about fossil preparation and to make a fossil into a Pokemon. You don't just whip it into a Pokemon ball. Oh no, you need to clean the fossil and then you need to preserve it into a fossil machine. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to build some fossil machines. So, first of all, we need to make a fossil cleaner, because obviously the fossil's going to be really dirty when it first comes out. I wish this was on Pokemon itself. I think it was, actually, like you got handed a fossil or something. But I've basically got loads of tabs here open in Google Chrome, so I don't have to, um, you know, remember everything. So I'm not the greatest person when it comes to remembering. And what we're going to do, we're going to get out this aluminium ingot, and we're going to put in some sand, and we're going to make some aluminium plates. I've got two here. How many do we need all together? We need six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, ah, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, we need seventeen. I have two. So we need fifteen more. So where's my diamond hammer? Give me my diamond hammer, bitch. Please, where is it? Oh, have I lost it? It's definitely in this chest. Bollocks, I can't find it. Do I have to use an iron one? A really slow iron one? Oh, I guess I'll have to. I'll use this iron one for the time being. Um, we're just going to get aluminium ingots and we're going to hold left click. That's right, isn't it? Yep. Kadoosh? No. Oh. Where's my diamond one? I'm really annoyed I've lost it. It's just magically gone, my diamond hammer. Hmm. Right. Oh, it's really annoying. Right, guys, I'll be back when I do these 17 pieces of iron. You know what, actually? I'm going to stay here. No, you can you can watch me. You can. There we go. That's one. Okay, we've got 17 to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm running a marathon, isn't it? Wow. Uh, once again, I'm doing this video because I'm stuck in a math problem, and usually videos help me to uh, solve math problems. But this one is impossible. I have no way of solving it. I don't think we haven't even been taught it yet. So oh, it's just really annoying how bloody hard it is. Uh, the, I think the answer in the book's wrong, or because everything else I've researched it, and everything else says something different. So, but there is a different answer. I mean, a different question with the same kind of answer. So I don't know what what's going on here. Maybe I'm just a noob tire and need to learn how to count ten. <laughs> Something like that. But anyway, how many do we have now? Six. So we had four, thirteen more to go. Thirty. My birthday is on the 13th of April, if anyone's interested for any reason. You might be, you might not be. I don't know why you would be anyway. Okay. This, oh, this takes forever. Come on, come on. 13, that was 12, okay, it's 12 now. 11. I wish I had my diamond hammer, everything would be a lot smoother. I don't know what's happened to it, it's just disappeared. It's just gone Avada Kedavra, out of nowhere. It's like, boom, it's gone. Uh, oh, what the frick am I doing? Oh, is that right? Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, I've got nine. Um, I had two before. Did I say I needed 19 or something? I don't know. So that, that's 10 more. Come on, one more. One more? Nine more. Nine more. <sighs> Come on, nine. Lucky number. The square number. Divisible. I mean, squared by three, of course. Come on. Come on. Ah, well, 
I really should have skipped this, shouldn't I? Thinking back to it, but you know what? I'm just going to YOLO it and go through with it. Oh, oh dear. As I said, I'll, oh yeah, it's actually a good opportunity to talk about my schedule now. Because I am back at school now, so things are going to be a bit different because I'm doing homework and studying. And, you know, studying further maths, it's pretty hard with physics and obviously maths. You can't say maths without further maths. That would just be stupid. Unless you're like a complete beast. Like, yeah, I don't need maths, you know, I don't need it at all. But yeah, um, I think my schedule is going to be, I think I said in the last video, it's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But that just leaves a three-week gap. That sort of sucks, and that sort of life, because it is, you know, a seven-day week. So there's always going to be a three-day gap, whatever I do. Hmm. I'm just trying to think about it. I think that'll be the best bet. I think I'll carry on with the Pixelmon. You know, catching Mew shouldn't be that hard after I've got my Pokemon. I say that because... <sighs> Burning down the jungle and then just rotating the Pokemon, you know, it can't be too bad. I'm thinking, like, you know, it's going to take hours and hours, but, you know, I'm ready to put that in. And, you know, it, it can't be that bad, can it? Really can't. I mean, catching Zapdos is meant to be harder. So I think I might do, like, a Season 2 of catching Zapdos and then a Season 3 of catching everything. But that is going to be hard because then I have to get all nine types of fossil and they all have to be different fossils. So, oh, yeah, I did say uh, there was a multiple of six. Oh, I've always said this as well. Yeah, there's nine types and not... Uh, did I say 12 before? I wish there was 12. There might be. When um, X and Y comes out, there might be more. But 18? Okay, that's one more. One more to go. I didn't know I was trying to do that. I was going to go halfway there. Lol jokes, I'm only second prestige. <laughs> uh, it's just subscribe for me to a while. You've, you'll know about that. All oh, the days, the days. Right, we've got that. We've got the glass. Glass in your ass. No, don't research that. Thank you. Glass in a bell jar. Or ask bell jar. No, I don't want to go there. You probably know what I'm thinking about. And... Uh, yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna think about that. Right, we need some redstone now. If I don't have any redstone, I'm gonna flip clears it. I don't have any redstone, do I? Oh hey oh thank god, thank thank god I've got three stacks. So what we're gonna need now is six of these, like that, and then a glass pane either side and then that. And I'm wrong. It's the other way around. I even had the recipe here, and that makes a fossil cleaner. So we need that. That's the first thing, to clean the fossil, and then we need the fossil machine itself, which is made up of different parts. So for this we need five aluminium plates, uh, like so. And then we need a redstone there to make the top. And then, does this just make a normal... No, it doesn't. Never mind. I thought I could be cheeky and, uh, you know... Oh, okay, I was nearly right, I was nearly right. You just put these there instead, and then it makes a fossil base. And we'll need three buckets, actually, so I need some iron... Um, I've got two buckets here, come on, just one more ingot. How hard can one more ingot be? Probably really hard, knowing me. And that rhymes. Um, of course it is. Oh no, I've got a bucket of water here. Okay, that's lucky. I can use these two instead. Yay for spawners! Yeah, because I don't make my own buckets, I just get them out of spawners, because I'm like that. I've turned the render distance to short, so it should lag less. Because I know it was so laggy last time, and I hate watching laggy gameplay. I don't know why it just cringes me. I watched a gameplay today of like how to get fossils and it was such a light it was literally on two FPS and it oh, it burned my eyes man it burned my eyes. Right we're gonna do here we're gonna put the glass paint. I wonder if you get the buckets back. We'll see. No you don't brilliant and what else do we need? We've got the base. I can close these tabs now one by one. Display of course we need the display. I've already got the obsidian. Yeah I'm prepared. <laughs> you don't see that often with me I'm actually prepared. And we have, we're done. That, that was pretty quick, actually. I was surprised. No hiccups or anything. So then we've got the top here, the base here, and there's a fossil machine. And that's it. And I've actually made a room here. See, I'm so prepared today. What is wrong with me? So, um, what's, where to place it? Should I place it here? Whoa. Okay, that's quite cool. Yeah, we'll leave it there and then put this here as a little fossil cleaner. It looks quite nice next to it. And. You know what, I'm just going to dig this bit out as well, because it's a bit... Okay, and now I'm being surrounded by sand. Absolutely brilliant. This, this, this... Because this bit here, I think it can go higher. Yeah, it is, it's, it's gone higher. Is that... Yeah, hello, hello world, how are you doing? I'm going to... I don't want to see light. I don't want to see daylight. I, I'm a vampire. 
Oh, Harry, you're a wizard. What? Hagrid, I'm just Harry. <laughs> Such a funny video. Ah, oh, the days. Right. Well, this has gone surprisingly well. <laughs> usually it doesn't do this well, my videos. Usually there's some kind of hiccup and I have to do something. Do I have any torches? No. Brilliant. So I have to clear out the sand. The old fashioned way. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, my spades ran out. Boom. Got another one. Got so many spades because of that gravel hunting. <laughs> And now I should be able to get a fossil for next episode, and then we'll start catching Mew. Because, you know, this is what this series is all about, catching Mew. It's not about fossils, it's about that Mew. We want that Mew, we don't care about anything else. Just that Mew. So there we go. And then what I'll do, I'll put a roof on. Made out of sandstone. About here. Yeah, this will be fine. Just put one here, put that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, that there, that there. I like to do the snail tactic where you sort of fill in from it. oh really oh you're, you're just mean it's, oh OCD ah oh, so bad and put you get these bits here and can we actually go in the fossil tank no we can't well actually that looks pretty cool so today we made a fossil tank and we made a fossil cleaner I think that's a productive episode I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please leave a like if you know the song please leave it in the comment section below and you could win a shout out it's a pretty easy song you know it's been in the top charts recently and yeah that is about it i'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully i will have my fossil if not i'll be crying in the corner and not be doing an episode for a while <laughs> anyway that's not true i'll still do an episode i'll probably just wander around trying to find a fossil still but anyway as i said hope you all have a sexy day and uh, where's my skin? I'm not Brock anymore. What have you done to Brock? <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.